What's going on everyone? It's RGB here again, and in today's video, we're taking a look at something really exciting. The first ever Windows emulator for Android that's now officially available on the Google Play Store. And, yep, you heard that right. The Game Hub Windows emulator has finally launched on the Play Store, created by the same team. It went live this month and was just made public recently. And for this emulator, it currently requires Android 10 or above, and it's currently the latest stable 5.2.2 build version. And in this video, I'm going to test and compare two devices together. One with the native system and with this phone using the emulator. And this test is going to be different. Well, of course, it's a part three test. And the phone right now here is the Galaxy S21, which is powered by the very hot and powerful Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno 660 GPU installed with the latest GPU driver date. And this phone has fast 8GB LPDDR5 RAM. It's almost a four-year-old device, yet still powerful. And one more here is my very old Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop from 2018. It's still working and alive, which is powered by the U-Series Intel Core i5 7th Gen 7200U processor installed with 12GB DDR4 RAM. It has Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. This laptop also has a dedicated AMD GPU, but I temporarily disabled it. Well, the thing about this CPU is that it only uses 15 watts of low power, still mostly common seen on U-series CPUs, and the Intel HD 620. No words about it. It's based on KB Lake architecture and supports up to DirectX 12. So anyways, Let's begin the test between the Intel Core i5 7th Gen versus the Snapdragon 888. Both are almost near to their power values. So both of these devices are set to normal preset at 600p resolution on DirectX 10. Also, do check out the description. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the test. So, Simeon, my dear boy, so good to see you, so good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man, look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month, huh? What are we waiting for? What's the other dab, nigga? Best beauty speech. And you still running with that old raggedy ass here? That country bumpy shit is enough to get us shot right there. I never took you to be old hairstylist type bitch, but now it's all starting to make sense. Chicago's dude with the tattoo on his face and shit. Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. There's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. In your case, I ain't so sure about that. Man, step up, nigga. Of course this dude real. Who else gonna have to require a surplus of paper and deficiency of brain cells? He just put a dub down on this bike. 20 G's? With a 3 G note? Damn, that motherfucker must be tricked out, dog. <laughs> Tight motherfucker. And you love me for it, nigga. Yeah, that's right, homie. Nothing but love, nigga. You're I'd right. send me the funny dude, though. Uh, it's gonna be a shame when we get to book his ass and jack him for all this shit. What the fuck you talking about? You a psychotic motherfucker. That's how shit work, ain't it? You do some jobs for a fool, develop a little uneasy relationship, and then they ask you to do something above and beyond. You fall out, fools get capped, and then you start all over again with some other fool. Where the fuck you get that from? 
That ain't my life, dummy. How about the boy with the eye from around the way? Marcus or something? You were slanging for him, and then he got what was coming, right? That was different. That dude had it coming. And honestly, I'm really surprised by how well the Snapdragon handled this test. Like the FPS was higher and overall performance felt smoother than I expected, it's more stable especially when going up against an Intel i5 7th gen laptop. Well, if we compare both, the Snapdragon 888 actually performs close to an Intel 8th gen i5U series in terms of power, and even better when it comes performance. That's crazy considering that both are low power mobile chipsets. It's amazing to see how far mobile hardware has come. And that's it with this test. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. If you're new around here, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.